Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 35 of 100 days 100 concepts. And today in this video, we are going to discuss about how to calculate principal stresses. Okay, so basically what is a principal stress? And one more thing, to clearly understand this video, we have already made two previous videos about stress tensor and Bohr circle, okay, which are popping up here on the i cards. So do check that out and then come here. So this will be easy to understand. Okay, so now coming to the point, what is principal stress? So basically, we already know that principal stress is nothing but the maximum normal stress. Okay, that can act on any plane of my body. Okay, so that means if I have some body over here, which is in plane stress condition. Okay. So there will be some plane in my body such that let's say at some angle theta, let me call theta p, I have okay some orientation such that I have maximum normal stresses okay, which are called my principal stress. Okay, so here you must always remember that the planes on which the maximum normal stress is present there won't be any shear stress okay so again i'm not covering any derivations over here i am just interested to cover that concept so that it, it's just like a revision i know many people are you know telling that this video series is helping them it's just helping them to revise their concepts okay so i don't want to bore you with lengthy videos so from now on we'll make short and crisp videos so that this 100 days or 100 videos rather will help not only you know on the day which you see but whenever you want to revise you can just go and watch the whole playlist that's how uh, we are we'll, we are going to focus now okay so now remember that there will be some orientation theta p which we already discussed if you remember we have discussed that in our video of more circle okay the same concept i am explaining you how we can calculate it analytically right so we have got some formula for sigma 1 and sigma 2 okay but remember that these are nothing but the maximum normal stresses that can act in my body on some planes okay of orientation theta p okay here i considered with respect to the horizontal right so this is my principal stress and also one more point which i covered is that you have to remember on the principal planes okay this is a new word so the planes on which my maximum normal stress will be prevailing we call them principal planes okay so principal stresses are the normal stresses itself and principal planes are nothing but the planes on which this particular maximum normal stress is prevailing okay and the planes these principal stresses not only have the maximum or the minimum normal stress but we also have zero shear stress okay fine enough of this introduction now let's see how to calculate so for that uh, let me take a stress tensor okay so i'll just write some stress tensor sigma xx sigma xy or rather tau xy anything is the same actually the different bigs follow different notations tau yx sigma yy tau yz tau zx tau zy and sigma zz okay so let's say this is the given stress tensor on any i know any random body right so now for this arbitrary condition i want to calculate the principal stresses so usually here i only took plane stress so this is plane stress condition correct so this is a plane stress condition that's why i took two sigma one and sigma two but here in this particular stress tensor case usually stress tensor is a 3d right it's a 3d problem so here we have three principal stresses which we usually write in a descending order okay sigma one being the maximum principal stress and sigma 3 being the minimum principal stress. So this is how we usually denote. Now, how can we calculate? So if you remember, I have already discussed that the sum of the principal stresses will always be equal to the sum of my 
applied normal stresses so this is an important thing that you should remember which you can easily derive if you uh, you know saw the derivation of mohr circle this should come into your mind okay so it is telling that fine this sum of these principal stresses or the principal stresses itself are independent of any direction okay so these are usually invariant that means these are not depending on any value of theta right so it is a value which is present at some theta are fine but this value is not depending on any theta rather this value is only depending on the applied stresses applied normal stresses which are my sigma xx which i wrote as sigma x anything is the same sigma yy and sigma zz correct so using this concept of invariancy there is a concept in mathematics so wherever we talk about calculating the invariance we talk about eigen values okay so eigen values are the invariant values for some particular matrix so here i took sigma ij okay so usually how okay fine without going there how can we calculate an eigen value so usually i take some a minus lambda i debt of this particular matrix i equal to 0 i solve it and i get some values lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 these are my invariance of this matrix a correct and here in my case i have sigma minus lambda i equal to 0 okay so here i get sigma 1 okay of course i get the same values of lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 which we call sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 so these eigen values are the principal stress values okay so these are the principal stress values so uh, by taking the matrix over here i get what sigma xx minus lambda sigma yy minus lambda and sigma zz minus lambda because we have i so it's an identity matrix so this is how we get and the rest terms are the same okay the shear stress values so by solving this determinant you usually tend to get a cubic equation normally and you get three values of lambda which are my principal stresses so i hope you understood what is principal stress value and how to calculate this okay so many people are also asking me to cover the numericals and um, because of the same reason which i said previously i just want to you know make this videos which help you to revise the concept faster okay so that's why i'm not making more numericals into the videos i hope you understand it so yeah that's it from my side for this video if you like it please hit the like button and also subscribe i see many people are not subscribing even after watching the videos so do subscribe we are near to 4000 so let's see if uh, we hit 4000 maybe by the end of this month we'll bring some offers for you maybe okay so yeah that's it from my side so do check out everythingmetallurgy.com where we offer one of the best gate metallurgy video course and along with that we also provide one of the most affordable test series which many people are already getting benefit of yeah one more thing uh, i i want to convey a short message to all the students uh, who already enrolled so the tests are being resumed okay so actually because some of my personal issues i did not make videos and i did not upload tests for the last one week or so so this is starting from tomorrow okay so from tomorrow the tests will also start to roll out okay so yeah thanks for watching guys check out everythingmetallurgy.com for best content for gate metallurgy thank you guys meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you